Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do speed ramp in Premiere Pro, but more specifically an advanced cinematic speed ramp. Now if you do know what a speed ramp is and you know how to do it, please stick around because I'm going to be showing you something a little different today. So drag your clip onto the timeline, right click on it, click unlink and delete the audio because we do not need it for this video. What you're going to want to do is right click on this little grey FX box in the top of your top left hand corner of your clip, click time remapping and speed. Now what you're going to want to do is hit P on your keyboard, go to this place on the clip where you'd like to speed up, make a keyframe, um, then you're going to want to go to the end of your clip where you want to slow down again, make a keyframe, go back into your, your selection tool by hitting V and on your keyboard, and then what you want to do is drag up the line in between those two points that you made. Drag it all the way up to make sure that it's at a thousand percent. Now, if you do need to speed to make your speed round go even faster than a thousand percent, what you can do, because Premiere Pro only Premiere Pro limits you to a thousand percent, what you can do is nest the clip and do the speed ramp again. Just make sure to count your frames so that your speed ramp is on the same place again. So what you're going to do here is on the mark of your speed ramp is you're going to want to drag that into the middle of your speed ramp like that, so it gives it a little ramp effect there. You want to do that on both sides, and then what you want to do is right click on that again and then pull it into the middle of the speed ramp which gives it an S curve effect. You're going to do that on the other side as well. Now this is your basic speed ramp, right? But now you want to make this a little bit better. What you're going to do, and this is a personal preference of mine, I prefer to nest my clips before putting multiple effects on them. So I'm going to go to the start of my clip which is at, I'm at the start of my speed, uh, speed ramp which is at 0022 and go to the end which is at 0041. So I'm going to right click and click nest and click OK. Now I'm going to go onto the FX box again, right click on it, time remapping and speed again. Find the same place which was at 22 over there, and I'm going to hit P on my keyboard and make a keyframe. Then I'm going to go to the same, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's better if it is perfect. Then I'm going to go to the second part of the end of my um, speed ramp, which was at 0041, and I'm going to make a keyframe again. Let's just fix that one there. Right. Now what you want to do is hit V on your keyboard to go back to your selection tool. Uh, now you're not going to speed it up again, but what we're going to do is go to the effects tab. Right, and you're going to want to search for an effect called directional blur. I used this effect in my last tutorial. If you guys want to see that tutorial, please click up in the top right corner. I'll leave a link there to the video. Um, once you've dropped that onto your clip, go back to the editing tab. And you're going to want to click on the clip and go to effects controls. Now make sure you bring your cursor to the start of the speed ramp and then go about three frames backwards. Now what you're going to want to do is click the toggle animation for blur length and create a keyframe. Now go to the start of your speed ramp and make a keyframe with the, uh, the blur length at about 25. You can change this to what you want it to be but I'm going to put on 25 for this clip. Now go to the end of your, your speed ramp and make another keyframe at the same amount of uh, blur Go three frames, for, uh, three frames forward and then reset it to zero. So that once your speed ramp's finished, the blur is gone. So your speed ramp, as, as your speed ramp starts to speed up, so does the blur. The blur gets more, stays there while the speed ramp's happening and then goes away at the end, which gives it quite a cinematic look. Now, if you guys like this tutorial, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I love to hear from you guys. If you guys would like some more tutorials like this, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm going to be making another video on how to do a speed ramp, but a slow motion speed ramp where you go from fast to slow and then back to fast again. Um, if you guys need any tutorials done or you want to know how to do something, let me know in the comments below and I'll do them for you. Uh, anyway, guys, have a great day. Cheers.